Okay, here is the crazy stuff about this. Okay, after going through all that crazy stuff, reinstalling it, couldn't see it in my Mixcraft uh, files. This is what this is what I found. Okay, so if you if you like go into you probably saw it on the screen, but let's just say, okay, when you open up Mixcraft, you're going to see like, you know, you got your MIDI tracks, right? And you're going to open up the effects and you're going to expect to see it in here, but you won't. Okay. This is what was tripping me out. I'm like, man, it didn't go into the Mixcraft 9 DAW. But guess what, guys? It did. Um, because I kept looking in here and I said, okay, I don't see it. I don't see it. Because... When you're looking at the other plugins that went into here, you know, like uh, my dear uh, monitor, you know, my dear VI monitor from Alliance, you know, Plugin Alliance, also my black box that went in, it went in here, okay? Now, what you have to understand is that if it is an instrument, okay, it's not going to go in here, okay? Because these are not instruments. These are processors. Okay? So the black box is, is a processor. It's, it's basically all that it is. So I just clicked open up the black box. So these are processors. Okay? Your processors are going to go into your, your um, effects. The Wedge Force Keeman bass guitar is not going to go in those processors. They are going to be located when you click the keyboard, which I did, and when you when you click it, okay, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you have it on all at the top. Because if you're looking down here, you're not going to see it. Synth, okay, so you're not going to see it over there. So you have to have it on all, then you go over here to all, and then you scroll down. And you just go down to the alphabets, all the way down to W. And there it is. Wedge Force Keeman. Now I open up the uh, Vista 3. Took a little while for it to open, but it opened. Okay. So let me show you what this is. What it'll look like. Okay, so I open it. All right, so, and here it says the musical typing. So if you're just going to be typing it on your keyboard, on your, you know, your typing keyboard, you click that. But I got my MIDI external keyboard plugged in. So let's put that down. So when you, when you open this, when you click this, it's going to open it up. You know, when you click that, it's going to open it up, and there it is. Finally, it's open in my DAW, my DAW for Mixcraft 9. It took me a while to figure that out. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's no video that's going to show you how to do this. <laughs> no video is going to show you how to do this. Now, all that time when, when I had installed this, the first time when I installed it, I actually did it right. I was just looking in the wrong place. So I went back in, and then I installed it in another folder, the Vista something folder. Still couldn't see it. Went in and reinstalled it again, put it in the Vista 3 folder, okay? And I still couldn't see it. But for whatever reason, for whatever reason, something just pretty much told me, go and open up the, go and open up the keyboard, you know, instrument deal. And I opened it up looked in here couldn't see it <laughs> so I just for whatever reason I just said okay let me look at all and then I went over and, and scrolled down and, and lo and behold boom right there and then I clicked on it boom it popped up boom okay so after I went through all that it's just it was just so crazy but there it is guy so if you guys are using an instrument that's where you're gonna find the instruments in your mixcraft uh, a doll you're going to find your instruments here. You got to go up to all and then scroll down and you'll see it. And I will never know 
You know what? I actually got another uh, instrument that I've gotten from ADR, and I, I didn't know how to install it. Now I know. I think I still got it on my computer. I hope I didn't delete it. Ah, man, I have to look into that. Anyway, that's 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 another video I'll make. But anyway, here we with the uh, the Wedge Force Keyman bass instrument. Okay, so let's let's play it on my external keyboard. Okay, it's off. Let's go ahead and do this again, and we're up here. All right, so now we got that bass track done up there. So it didn't sound as loud because I had to, you know, I had that down. So now let's uh, play it. So on Mixcraft, you can just click the play button in the corner. Now I can move the volume up here. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So now let's um, let's go ahead and, and do some process on this. Okay, so I'm going to leave this. I'm going to move this up here. I hate to wait for a long time before the play, you know, the play bar get to it. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and add some uh, effects to this. So here's the volume right now, where it's at. Okay, so that's where the volume is. I'm not going to touch the volume, I'm just going to leave it alone. So I want you guys to just kind of uh, see what happens when I add the process to it. So now we're going to the effects here. Okay, and I'm gonna get rid of this EQ, um, and uh, I'll get rid of this for now. Okay, let's add what I got from Plugin Alliance, the black box. Okay, I'm gonna open up the black box. Okay, there it is. There's the black box from uh, Plugin Alliance, and this thing is a beast. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to be kind of hard to get everything into the view here. Um, okay. So, oh man, I need to move this. I need to move this, this over. Okay, because I need to be able to hit that play button. Okay, get this up. Okay, and then I need to be able to stop it over here. Alrighty, so let's, let's play it and let's add the effects. have the um, I don't have the uh, the process on I don't have the black box on It's bypass right now okay that activates it that bypasses it okay so here we go I haven't touched the volume now I'm going to activate the black box And nothing's clipping into the red, so I had that headroom to play with. Okay, so let's um, uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Oh man, I should have done that. Ah, okay, let's see if I come out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what I want to do here now, I'm going to push this box up high enough so you guys can see these knobs down here. Okay, so it's the stereo width. Don't know if you might see much of a difference or hear much of a difference in it but uh, let's go ahead and play it okay let's do this let's play it I'm gonna deactivate it Alrighty, 
So I'm not even really, you know, I'm not even applying all these other, you know, features here on this black box. I still got a lot to learn about this thing, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> just so you guys know that. I still got a lot more to learn. So they got videos on this. I'm going to watch the videos and really just kind of learn more on this. Here's actually a bypass button here that I probably should have been pushing. <laughs> Let's see if that worked. Uh should have been pushing that okay alrighty so now let's do something else we're gonna leave okay now let's uh let's play the bass track and we're gonna add this let's go ahead and uh, deactivate that okay so I don't see a bypass here, so I, I have to deactivate it from here. And it's by turning this on, turning it off. Okay, <laughs> unless this is it right here. I don't know, let's see. I think that may be it. Okay, let's play the bass. Okay, so let's activate it. Yeah, that's, that's the bypass right there. Let's do that again. Activate the uh, filter here. Increase the punch. You guys get a sense of that punch being applied right there? The tight punch? Let's take it down. Let's play it again. Applying the tight punch. nothing's clipping see it's not clipping at all so that's why I say you know with um, Mixcraft uh, 9 I, this this is not the Mixcraft 9 Pro it's on my other computer but you know you do each track like this and your stuff is just gonna be like hanging out there you know the the enhancement the expansion the presence it's just gonna be amazing okay so that's it I'll just demonstrate that and hopefully you guys were able to get a sense of the sound on this um, you know in you know live in person when you're actually playing it in front of you it's just gonna be so much better I mean if it sounds good here it's gonna be so much better in front of you okay alrighty so this video is way too long so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> finish this up um, we'll catch you guys in the next video um, I did a video like this before and I thought I had it ready but guess what guys my software crashed on me and I had to redo this all over again. Alrighty.